Good morning, everyone. Well, we've already seen some flash flooding during the overnight hours in the northern part of the state, and I do think that's a possibility in southern Wisconsin beginning late this morning and continuing through the afternoon hours. Let's get things started at 8 a.m. this morning, and the best chance of rain for the morning commute is in the central part of the state. Now, notice a chance of rain everywhere in the state, but we're seeing that transition of the heaviest rain, the best chance of storms from northern Wisconsin into southern Wisconsin. So chance for everyone for the morning commute, but the best chance right in the heart of the state. Now, in the late morning hours, this is probably going to be the peak of the activity across southern Wisconsin. And notice a combination of showers and storms, but storms dumping some heavy rain. Now, fortunately, not worried about any damaging wind or hail, uh, but lightning, heavy rain coming down, definitely during the late morning hours in southern Wisconsin. And it does look like there are going to be a couple spots that are going to get an extended amount of heavy rain. And so beginning the late morning hours, I do have to mention the chance uh, for some isolated flooding. And the problem is it's not just during the late morning hours because, yeah, this big area of rain is going to slide to the south and east. But look what starts to happen in the early afternoon. Now, it's going to be quieter in the early afternoon than the late morning hours. But look at some redevelopment in the central part of the state. And it looks like a better chance as we get into the late afternoon. Now notice with this round, there are gaps. So you might miss out in the southern part of the state, but the chance is there. And though you, you might miss out on the flooding in the late morning hours, by this point, the ground is real wet. So if one of these storms, because I still think there could be some storms around, happens to be a slow mover, this could be the opportunity for some flooding to occur. So that's why I've got to mention the chance even through the afternoon hours. But notice late afternoon is just across southern Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, going to be dry. It's also uh, looking like the southeastern part of the state versus the southwestern part of the state has the best chance of seeing this additional activity in the late afternoon. So this is probably where we're going to see the highest rain totals and the best chance of flooding really from Madison Portage and areas to the east. Again, kind of focusing in on the southeastern part of the state. It's also where we're going to have breezy conditions uh, this afternoon. Actually, there's not going to be much wind as you go to the north and west. But uh, Madison, Racine, Kadosha, over to the Sheboygan area, uh, looking like uh, breezy conditions. So what about Friday evening plans? Well, <laughs> continued improvement, but I still got to leave in the chance. I don't think there'll be any more heavy rain around. Still some leftover isolated showers across southern Wisconsin. Completely dry northern Wisconsin. And I do think by the time we get to 11 o'clock, the rain chance over with. So as far as how much more rain is to come across the northern half of the state, we're only talking about a quarter inch to an inch of rain. But across the southern half of the state from La Crosse down to the south, I think one to two inches is going to be common. And I do think, again, somewhere in the southeastern part of the state, in particular, there could be a couple spots that get up to four inches of rain. And where those four-inch totals occur, though it's not going to be widespread, that's where there could be some flooding. So not a lot of good news today. There is good news for tomorrow. Tomorrow is looking a lot, a lot drier. Now, one little negative early morning hours tomorrow. I'm stopping it at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I do think there's going to be quite a bit of fog across the state, particularly across southern Wisconsin. All that wet ground from all the rain and not much wind. Yeah, these are the conditions where we can see fog form. And I do think, especially in southern Wisconsin, it could be dense at spots during the early morning hours. Also got to mention that sometimes when you get these foggy conditions, there can be some little bit of drizzle, some stray showers around, but nothing big. And that's the best chance for the fog and a little bit of drizzle uh, around the Racine Kenosha area. This is just during the early morning hours, though. The fog's going to be gone by late morning. The chance for any sprinkles is going to be over with as well. I'll tell you what, late morning, early afternoon, probably even into the late afternoon hours, looking completely dry. And, and look at the temperatures we're going to be enjoying tomorrow. So in the far eastern part, say mainly highs in the mid-70s. But for most of us, we're looking at high temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. Should be feeling great. Not much wind either tomorrow. However, in the evening hours, I do have to mention a chance of rain coming back for southern Wisconsin. I think northern Wisconsin staying dry, but... Look at the isolated activity beginning around 7 o'clock for Saturday evening dinner plans. i got to mention the rain chance coming back. However, I do think the rain chance is going to get better later in the night. So it's less likely you're going to encounter rain the earlier out. The later you stay out Saturday evening, 
the better the chance of rain across southern Wisconsin. I do have to mention, the farther south you live, the better the chance of rain. The farther north you are, even in southern Wisconsin, the smaller the chance of rain.